thanks for coming. Anyone from Hamilton here? Hey, Hamilton. Um, I am also from Hamilton. I just wanted to mention that in case I slip into my accent by accident. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I grew up on the mountain in Hamilton. Yeah, uh, we know it's not called a mountain. We know that, but escarpment is difficult to say. That's, <laughs> especially in Hamilton, it is. Um, living on the mountain, I have to say, kind of made us the big shots in our family. It did. Or, or, or the fixed address, one or the other. <laughs> I also wanted to tell you um, a little bit about my wife. Um, yeah, I said it. Um, I said it. The Hamilton thing was a diversion. Um, there are gay women of the night as well, okay? All right, uh, we're mostly there just to make sure that the straight women of the night don't have their civil rights violated in any way. Um, but we are there, we walk the beat, we walk the street. Uh, my wife is a bit of uh, a radical. Uh, just the other day she said to me, honey, uh, could we have a solution-focused discussion uh, on radical acceptance? <laughs> um, <laughs> there is one way to answer that question, and that is yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, she also uh, has decided that we are no longer taking taxis uh, because, as she put it, we're not rap stars. <laughs> that's why. So, uh, <laughs> that's sort of her there. Um, we live in Toronto uh, in a condo. Uh, basically, that means uh, we can see each other all the time. Um, that's what that means. Uh, I hear things like, where are you going with the mayonnaise? Um, to make a sandwich in private, that's why. <laughs> My wife and I were having people over uh, the other night and she accidentally left a dildo drying on the bathroom counter. <laughs> All right, I said it, I said it. What was embarrassing, not even one we use anymore. She just saw it and thought, oh, that could use a wash. <laughs> right? And I had to be the one to pull her aside and go, honey, we've got company over, okay? <laughs> Put out the good dildos. <laughs> Come on. We pay money for that stuff. Just in the summer, we went to a theme park with a lot of friends of ours, all lesbians, okay? All of us went to this theme park together. And someone asked me, what do you call that when lesbians travel in a group together? Um, is that like a pack or a horde? What is that? Um, it's a murder. Uh, that's, uh, that's how we're traveling in murders. Um, yeah, so uh, we went to uh, this theme park and uh, like a lot of parks, you enter, some teenager takes your picture so that you can buy a keychain with your picture on it <laughs> on the way out. Sure enough, we all come in, girl takes our picture, then says to the murder of us, okay, how about now one with just the girls? <laughs> You got it, all right. So, uh, <laughs> there were easily enough of us to start a revolution, easily. Because you only need eight lesbians to start a revolution. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, but instead what we chose to do was talk amongst ourselves, decide that the women with ponytails will stay in this picture, okay? <laughs> And the rest of them took a boy's picture. <laughs> All right, so we're not as angry as you think we are, okay? All right. Actually, I'm gonna get a little bit angry. Um, 
My wife and I also watch The L Word because it's all we have. You know what I mean? It's all we have. Uh, so we watch it. And um, I did take issue with the fact that we were portrayed so perfectly on this show. I know, pick your battles, right? Um, but not one fat lesbian on this show. It's about lesbians in Los Angeles. No fat lesbians. Until one of the characters went to prison. Oh my God. There they were. There they were. In the shower, no less. In the shower. Why hold back, Hollywood? Why hold back? You know what I mean? And then, then it occurred to me, this is Hollywood. They're in jail for being fat. That's what's going on here. That is what's going on here. Oh, um, my in-laws are from Newfoundland. Anyone from Newfoundland in the house? A few, a few. You've come a long way for a free taping <laughs> of a show that's gonna air for free. But uh, hey, Newfoundland's in the house, awesome. Before I met my wife, I'd never been. Um, now it's the only place we go. <laughs> Apparently it works that way. Um, and I have to say, nothing, nothing makes me fatter than going to Newfoundland. <laughs> I have to say, <laughs> my first trip, only one pair of pants fit me on the way home. Uh, drawstring, obviously. <laughs> but, um, so uh, one year, one year, we, we tried to implement some damage control with the diet. Uh, not easy, since a bowl of boiled potatoes is called the salad, first of all. <laughs> and um, they have this expression called, pass the fat. And um, it's a bowl of melted butter with fried up pork fat in it. <laughs> Um, that gets poured all over your already epic meal. So, we managed to find frozen vegetables, make a stir fry. People were pissed. They were pissed. We were accused of trying to be fancy, first of all. The last thing you wanna be in Newfoundland, fancy. Last thing, and uh, no one ate it. No one ate it. Uh, in fact, uh, my wife's grandfather uh, waved it off with disgust, and he had had a stroke. He couldn't even use that arm. That's how pissed he was. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Don Whitwell.